guys doing today? This your man's Veracity TT back again with another tutorial. Now we are about to use all the tracks with the Behringer X32 with FL Studio. Y'all know I couldn't leave FL Studio out. So let's jump straight into it. FL Studio probably a little bit easier than the rest. So first thing you want to do, go to options, go to your MIDI settings here. When you get to your meeting settings, as you can see, I have the X uh, USB and I got to go on Mackie Control Universal. So MCU and you want to put it on port 102 right here. I got this um, enabled here, but I'm not even sure if you need that enabled or not. But just do it because this is what's working right now. So I don't want to be experimental and see if it work or not. I just got to select it so it's working. All right. So right here, controller type, this is where you want to select Mackie Universal here in this selection when you are highlighted right here on the X uh, USB for the input. Also, make sure you have this clicked enabled, port 102, port 102. All right, y'all see that? All right, y'all see? The next thing you want to do, let's pull up the X32 edit app. When you get in here, you want to make sure that when you are on MIDI control, this is all that I have selected, just like for Logic, I believe. This here and that. So I don't even have this enabled or anything like that. When you go over here to card, make sure you're on 32 in, 32 out. That's pretty much it. Now y'all about to see, and FL is really simple. This is what you want to do, literally. I just click right here, right click on it, click link to controller, and then start moving the X32 just like that. So let's jump. Let's jump some tracks. I'm gonna go all the way over to 16. So let's go all the way over to 16. Here we are on channel 16. Highlight the channel, move it like that. Right click, link to controller, move it on the X32. Like FL just got it together. I don't know what they did, but it's simple. Boom. So now we going right here. This technically will be channel 17. Let's click channel 17. All you gotta do is just right click on the fader, click link to controller, and then just move it, see? So as you can see, bam, we got all the tracks basically right here, link to controller, just move it. If you wanna learn how to do it in Studio One, I'ma put that up here in the top, bow. And I'ma drop the link in the description below. If you wanna learn how to do it in Logic, I'ma put that link at the top, Bow. and then I'm gonna drop it down below also. So I did it in those two dolls. I had to do it in FL. Pro Tools can't do it, uh, uh, uh. at least to my knowledge. So basically, I just wanna tell you guys, FL Studio is limited. Literally, all you will be able to do is move the tracks up and down. So if you right click here and you select link to controller and you move it like this, that's it not gonna switch to each channel it's just because of the way that fl studio um mixer actually works you know it's not like traditional dolls that being said here it's not gonna work like traditional dolls all right so all you can do is just move the channels and you can use all the channels as you see i did over there and you see i set this one up i didn't set up a Right click, link to controller, see, bam. Set up number three, right click, link to controller. So FL straightforward, you see what I'm saying? Simple, simple in FL. So that's how you do it. Like, comment, and sub. In the meantime, I'm gonna be looking around and trying to figure out if there is a way for you to use that pan knob on each individual channel with using that one button. So if you can do that, that'll be great. If you can't, FL, come on, man, come on. So yeah, if this helped you out, like the video and sub for more content like this.